Sorry for not really posting that much for recent days. Uh, but I'm I'll be back to posting like every day. Uh, don't worry, I'll have something for Christmas. Uh I actually tried making a bit of a uh like Zach King kind of video. Like a day ago. I was thinking of uploading that, but it wasn't just good at all. So yeah. Do you have any ideas for a one year anniversary? I could do. Cause that'll be interesting. So, obviously, today we're doing some chess. Trying to get the king. I'm assuming most of you know what chess is, right? Because if you don't, that'd be stupid. How do you not know chess? Make, it would make no sense. Okay, this has been intense. Take that. Frook takes. Okay, check. Go here. And, yeah, I'm kind of stuck at the moment. I think I'm going to go qu queen to g5. So if pawn takes, I can take the rook and check. And then I can get the pawn. If he's stupid enough to fall for it. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I almost forgot about that bishop. Now, what do I do now? I can go here. If we take a second take. Then bishop takes, and then I... Okay, the crook has to move. Also, I think he's going to go to either g4 or f5. No, I, I th it's probably... Well, I guess I'll take the rook. Huh. I'll pin the bishop. And I'll get the rook out, moving it to d8 to attack the queen. Rook on f8 to protect. Sorry if this isn't really an interesting video. You know? Alright, get the gaze in check. No, I think I even, I think I can trap him. But it might take some luck. Here. Here, and then I can too. So the king has to move or not. That works. So here. He's got to move soon. Or you can just do that. Which will just take this. To avoid a stalemate. Oh, he che- that's cheeky! <laughs> Never thought of that move. Okay, I need to take something. 
Eh. Guess I'm going here. Pinning the bishop. This game is a lot harder than expected. I think... I think... A2 is a good move with the rook. Then again, that move exists, so... Attacking Bishop, which is also protected. Oof, juicy folk. Those are always nice to get your hands on. Wonder if he'll take the rook. How do you not take that? How? What? What did I witness? Now I can just take the bishop. This is easy. This is easy, I tell ya. Easy. I'm checking him with bombs. <laughs> I think I'm going for the bishop. Maybe pawn here is a good move, but then again, maybe I should pair it with this, but, well, he's protecting that, so, go here, take the pawn and I'll take the bishop. I'm trying to find a way to trap them. <sighs> yep, knew it. Yes, move here. And checkmate! Yes! Let's give this a quick game review. And I'll be the episode. Alright, some grit. How? I won! How? Well, game review. Well, that was a nice comeback, I guess. Uh, this is the. King's Fratino opening. Opening? Why opening twice? I don't get it, but... Since, he pl since I played that... No, there was a high chance of me losing in all three of these scenarios. If there was a book move. That's when I blundered. Which is not a good one. And I... And I lost the bishop. You, I messed that up. Would've been better if I moved the knight. That was a horrible thing to do. Not a mistake, but it was in vain. But then I kept. Captured the vulnerable queen because he decided to protect instead. The pawn was for the taking. Made another blunder. Wait, checkmate. Checkmate where? Oh, Bishop take. Oh, hoo -hoo. Ah, I should not have done that one. And then I won the bishop. Messed that up. Still won't take it. And what's the best move? Whoa, was here. We could have done mate in one, but it was mate in three, which I chose, but it did not matter. I had a decent opening game, and I found. 
good op and good mini game. I mean, I as it says here, nice comeback win. Let's go. Whew. And those two great moves were the thing that really changed the game around. For sure. It's a good one. Alright. Bye, I guess. See you on the flip side.